Hey everyone, in this video there's not going to be articles and no references from any kind of material from political propagandists or media outlets or the central planning control freak authoritarians among us. This is predominantly about those who support, frequent, and uh, visit and have liked my page, the Canadian Libertarian page. Now, as those of you who are familiar with my page and have been around long enough, you must realize I don't fucking cater to nobody. I don't give a shit who you think you are, what political gang or party you align yourself with, or how popular you think you are. Yeah, of course I could fucking be a completely mindless moron like the rest of most of the populace, right? And sell my principles and my soul out to become popular. That would be actually very fucking easy. If you don't think I'm intellectually astute enough to understand that concept, holy fuck. What the fuck is your problem? Really, you think I just crawled out from under a rock? 383 fucking videos so far talking about a lot of in-depth subjects and topics regarding central planning, governments, economics, and philosophy, and politics will tell you otherwise. But hey, skip by all that. Forget all that even. I understand completely about marketing. It's not that I'm fucking ignorant to market. Oh yeah, I'm just so intellectually astute about most things, but I don't understand marketing. I understand marketing. The problem is, if marketing means I gotta sell my soul or my principles to become popular, well, I guess I'll never fucking become popular. I am not that desperate for popularity. Now, when I do see that I'm seeing pay, uh, people that are dropping off my page, now it wasn't huge, but within the last week or so, it was probably about six or seven. I think it was six in total. So it's not a huge number by any means, right? It's not like there was a mass fucking exodus or anything from the Canadian Libertarian page. It's just, I seen that there was, other than maybe one or two, the most I've ever seen, ever on like my page in a week, was one or maybe two. Never seen six, right? So to me, and that's still very small, that's peanuts, right? But to me, it was like, well, what's going on? But now I understand what the fuck is going on. This is, and this is the thing. I've basically weeded out, as the Canadian Libertarian, I weeded out in the past years all the left-wing progressives and collectivists that thought that they were somewhat aligned with libertarians to a degree. But they're still authoritarians, right? So I weeded through all them out and I said, faker, 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 bullshitter, liar. Yeah, you're a fucking complete liar. Bye-bye. I already dealt with most of them. That's why I don't have many of these left-wing collectivists on my Canadian Libertarian page anymore or even on my own personal friends list. I dropped hundreds of them off because, yeah, I don't want to deal with your fucking dumbass shit, right? If you're unwilling to learn anything and you're just all about authoritarianism and fucking thinking you have the ability or capacity or authority to dominate and control people, yeah, I want nothing to do with you, right? But right-wingers because this is the thing right and you know the past you see in the history right-wingers were the ones now trying to align with libertarians because be honest with you libertarians we're the ones that's going to be we are the fucking future we are the future liberty is in the future it's in the hands of libertarians not control freaks not sociopaths not authoritarians from one side of the political aisle or the other right the future is personal individual personal responsibility so now what I'm seeing is I'm seeing now we're, I'm dropping off those right-wingers that were all cheering me on when I was against the left fucking collectivists. Well, now the right-wing authoritarians and collectivists, they're, uh, they're the ones that are now starting to turn away from me. Well, good, good. That's good. As far as I'm concerned, as a libertarian. Libertarian. Not right, not left. I don't have this stupid mentality where I gotta pick a team. I'm from gang A or gang B, and if you're in gang A or gang B, well, if you're on the opposite team, I'm going to hate you. You're like a bunch of pensioned fucking children, a bunch of fucking goddamn adolescents as far as I'm concerned. Like I say, I don't identify with any shit, and I guess what I'm seeing now is especially based on the recent posts I've been doing, which is against most of you right-wingers or you fucking goddamn authoritarian, cop-loving, boot-licking piece of shit. And like this fucking guy had an argument earlier, and I knew as soon as I had to do is look at his profile. Oh, you work for the government? Then he admits he's a corrections officer. Well, gee, I wonder what your opinion's going to be like when you are an actually enforcer of the state. You think I'm going to really go to give a fuck about your opinion? But you were on my page, weren't you? Huh? Got a little guilty conscience, maybe? Maybe you understand that I'm actually the one that's more principled and in the right place. 
but you try to play that game, right? Because I guess your, your little authoritarian mindset crept up and leapt out. Well, sucks to be you because as you found out real quickly, you can't dominate, you can't control me, you can't use any political propaganda, you can't bully me in any way, shape, or form. I will fucking call you at every time at every stage of the game when you try to play your little bullshit with me. So, oh, you unlike my page? Oh, boo-hoo. Watch and learn. Watch and see how long it takes. Won't be very long. Within a week or two, I'll be up to that point again, and then I'll exceed it. Yeah, I don't mind having to fucking get knocked back a step as long as I keep making two steps at least forward. That means I'm always gaining ground. So no matter what, you do your best, you motherfuckers. You do your best to try to paint me as anything you want, right? I don't give a fuck right wing or left wing. You can talk the smack all you want. But in the end... You're the authoritarian piece of shit. You're the one that's aligning with the state and the ideology of forced collectivism, forced subjugation. I'm the one is representing liberty. And I don't give a fuck, like I say, I won't cater to none of your dumbasses. I don't care about your politics. I don't care about your gangs. I don't need your tribe. I got my own. It's called my family. It's called my friends. It's called my loved ones. I don't need a fucking mystical tribe or any concept of, oh, I'm part of a greater gang or some greater good. I don't need that. I'm very much happy with the people that I surround my life, myself in my personal life. So I don't need the pretense of, set, of, of giving myself a sense of belonging to any gang or group. That's where you fuckers fail every single time. I've challenged you all, anyone that's got anything to say, if you want to talk bullshit, you want to talk smack, I like it, I always do, I always offer this to everyone that wants to talk smack or fucking crap against me. It's like, hey, listen, I'm not, listen, I'm not a typist, I'm not a secretary, I'm not going to sit there and waste hours and hours and hours on end typing away. If you want to challenge me, you know, laptops are pretty cheap. Skype is free. It's a free fucking application or even on your phone if you want to use your camera. And face and, and or, or FaceTime or Skype, whatever you want to do, there's all kinds of technologies and methods out there. If you want to challenge me to a debate or a discussion or a conversation, like I say, I'm always open. And I keep putting that forth every time these fuckers that challenge me, I keep saying, hey, hey, I invite you to an open debate or discussion where there's nobody going to be able to fucking dictate and control anything. It's all going to be, you can just say whatever you got to say and I'm going to say whatever I got to say. No central planners involved, right? Not even any fucking referees. You can just, it's a free-for-all. Call it anarchy, right? Whatever you want to call it. But yeah, you'll be able to say whatever you want. There'll be no filters. You know, there won't be no silence of your speech. There won't be no um, brown shirts come along to, to try to silence you and lock you up. Because with me, I'm all about, I'm a live, 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 live kind of guy. But you got to, if you come to challenge me, just like whether it's in my racing, whether it's everything I've ever done in my life, building stuff, construction industry, my driving skills. There's many areas, philosophical endeavors, many areas. Go ahead, challenge me. But you better be willing to fucking own up to the fact that I'm coming at you with my A game. When I'm a very competitive person, so yeah, you got to at least be willing to bring your A game. And if you're unwilling to bring your A game, yeah, sit, just sit down, shut the fuck up, and accept the fact that you're in no position to challenge me. It's a Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.